My name is Chloe Maisonneuve. I'm 20 years old and I'm originally from a small town called Guy in northern Alberta. I'm Natalie Maisonneuve. I'm 21. I was born in Grand Prairie, Alberta and moved to Ottawa with my family when I was a year old. In 2015, me and my family went to visit the Maisonneuves on the farm for the first time. And I was 17 and Chloe was 15 years old. It was such a crazy idea that I actually had girl cousins because all my cousins are boys and are also a lot younger than me. Growing up in Ottawa was really important to me because in the suburbs there weren't that many things for us to do. So my friends and I often took a bus downtown and we would wander and explore. This fed my need for travel and exposure to what the world has to offer. We spend our time talking at coffee shops, shopping at thrift stores, looking through vinyls at record stores, longboarding and bike trails, and visiting art galleries. As I got older, I became fascinated with the urban nightlife. Music has always been a huge part of my life, so I found a second home in Ottawa's electronic music scene. Growing up on the farm in a francophone community really shaped me in almost every way. I spent my free time playing or watching sports, volunteering, writing, driving around, and going to bush parties. I couldn't wait to move, and although Ottawa is almost 4,000 kilometers away and very different from my hometown, I found a little place for me here in the city. Family Maisonneuve, Palémel, and then we go down. Puis moi, okay, yeah, so Nathalie is right here. Nathalie is the daughter of Marc, who's the son of Joe who's the son of Paul Emile, and I am here, and I'm the daughter of Christian, who's the son of Bernard, who's the son of Paul Emile. All right, so we're driving towards Guy from Grand Prairie. Um, I landed in Grand Prairie, it's about a two hour drive towards Guy, which is where I grew up. Um, I grew up on an acreage just outside of this little tiny hamlet of 40 people. Never nervous. This family, yeah. It's working. Okay there? Yeah, yeah. It's Can that help? working. That's me there. I know she's in. Yeah. Moi, la, la valeur que je pense qui est la, la valeur de base, là, mm -hmm. c'est que il y a beaucoup d'amour dans cette famille, même s'il y a des divergences d'opinion, on s'aime et on se respecte. <coughs> et puis, euh, je pense que c'est ça qui est la, la force fondamentale, c'est l'amour de la famille. Le grand but, c'est de voir un, une action de grâce comme hier ensemble avec tout le monde. Whatever manque a puis des, des affaires qui sont pas correctes avec l'un l'autre ou faut ou y aller au-delà de ça pour voir le gros portrait puis être ensemble c'est important mais mon cousin Marc c'est un cousin que j'ai pas je dirais pas que j'ai été élevé avec je le voyais de temps en temps rarement parce que lui il vivait à Saint Albert puis moi euh, je vivais à Donc, euh, tout de suite, là, c'est une grosse différence. Puis, c'est un gars qui est élevé plutôt en ville. Moi, je suis un gars de campagne. I would say that the quality of times that we spend together is very important. And ultimately, you end up choosing some of the family that you keep in touch with more than others based on your own uh, interests and, and friendships that are built. And uh, otherwise, sometimes an electronic version of communicating is good when it comes to text, um, video, um, you know, whether it's through social media, sometimes that's good enough too, but otherwise it's um, about, about making plans to get together and making the most of those times. Well, I think the Mesnos value um, family as a fairly big priority, and that is... Um, not just the immediate family, but um, a, a, a togetherness with family, a family as priority, um, 
family with respect to the generations as well, like towards grandparents. We've been here for 20 years and it was difficult to uproot from your family in Alberta to move uh, into Ontario and Ottawa. Um, what made a big difference though was that Joanne and Doug were already in Ottawa, so we had family. The Mesnev, there was Mesnevs here in Ottawa that were immediate family, um, obviously Dad's sister. Et pour moi, la famille, c'est important. Donc, avoir été, euh, eu la chance d'être sur une ferme, je pense c'est pour ça que je suis tellement proche de mes frères, et de ma soeur et de mes parents. On ne passait pas beaucoup de temps au village parmi la communauté. On passait gros du temps sur la ferme en train de travailler. La famille est très importante. Langue, culture, famille et foi um, sont à la base. Well, I think from the early beginnings, because we're families that are built off of pioneers that established in Canada and then established themselves in Western Canada, I think there's strong family values as far as work ethic goes. Um, there's a tie to agriculture, there's a tie to working with the land, be it forestry. So I think there's some strong values to the land, but working as a family and work ethic um, is important if you're going to get that done. Because we're, uh, we're self-employed, we always have been. I feel there's a certain work ethic that's transmitted to the kids. Gens euh, très entrepreneurs euh, qui ont de grandes aspirations et qui s'investissent beaucoup pour réaliser euh, les objectifs qu'ils se donnent. Il faut essayer de ton mieux, c'est bien ça que je dis. Si tu as un drive, tu vas être bien. On valorise beaucoup euh, la langue et la culture. Dans le cas des maisons neuves, euh, oui, au souche francophone, donc la langue et la culture francophone qui, qui, euh, qui est très importante, mais aussi euh, euh, la langue anglaise, puisque les, la grand-mère de Christian était anglaise de l'Angleterre. Euh, mais euh, tout, tout ces. Euh, très culturel et linguistique se sont comme entremêlés pour former euh, les traditions que, que la famille observe aujourd'hui. La francophonie, so a connection to the French community, to the heritage um, and to our historical backgrounds with the French families and where we're from, where the Mesnevs have come from and where they've settled. Il n'y a pas grand business dans le monde où tu peux euh, ce qui rassemble la famille de même. C'est vraiment cool. Et quand ça vient à Marc, là, je pense un peu ça qui comme, nous a ramenés ensemble. C'est comme lui avec son intérêt en agriculture, puis aussi comme même maintenant nous on cultive les terres qui appartiennent à, à, à son père puis à sa mère. Well, I would hope it would be around a tie to the na tie to nature. Um, and the family values that stick together in the sense that there's a certain amount of work ethic, but there's also um, a sense of uh, having a good time and enjoying each other's company and being there for each other should we need them. True. You think our kids are going to be like that? Buddies? Well, yeah. Well, I hope so. <laughs> I'll make them be friends. I'm gonna go find your kids 20 years after they're born <laughs> and force yeah. them to be friends. <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna move across the country, not introduce you, your kids to my kids, no. then introduce Until 15 them. 15 years later. Exactly. And then introduce Just them fun. and then separate them again. Yeah. <laughs> and then see what they do. Yeah, see what la santé physique, je pense que... Ok, that's it, that's all. 
ये